Oh yeah, that's organic, all right. <laughs> Well, I don't know if this is going to work or not. The field seems pretty slimy yet. But there is hope. The co-op is putting on hiders on our farm across the road. So maybe maybe it's good right now. And now you may have noticed that this is a uh, John Deere, not the cat tractor. Well, the lease on our Challenger, I keep saying cat, it's Challenger. The lease on our Challenger 865E ended and we still have some ripping left to do. So we put the John Deere 9570 RT on. Even though in my video where I, you know, showcased this tractor for the first time, I said we weren't going to use it this fall. I'm sorry, I lied. And let me tell you, the butt warmer in this thing is fantastic on these 30 degree mornings. Look at that. You know, I'm not a morning person, but sometimes getting up early to see that, definitely worth it. Trying hard, but you want to be my friend Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to Here we go, here we go again Call my bluff, I'ma be you till the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you Well, it's finally fairly bright out, and uh, you know, it's still working pretty good. We're still sitting in that three, four percent slip range, but I'm guessing once it warms up, it ain't gonna work much longer. I just noticed in this tractor, they actually put a little track tractor in the GPS. That's awesome. Up till now, it's always been the standard like 7810, but uh, it's the little things. Well, it started to get pretty slimy there at the end, so I'm gonna call it for the day. I think we're gonna go harvest some organic corn, but before I go do that, I should uh, probably clean this off for the next person. Oh yeah, that's organic, all right. Yeah. Honestly though, look at the size of this thing. That's an organic ear. This is certified organic this time. That's pretty impressive. You know, it was like 30 degrees this morning when I woke up, but uh, it's actually getting kind of hot. I turned on the air conditioner. Siri, what's the temperature outside? You know, bad reception here. 43, man, it's blistering hot outside. This is degrees Fahrenheit. Now, one thing you may notice is we leave 12 rows of buffer around the edge, and that's because our neighbor's farm is not organic. So, you know, the buffer is important just in case there's a little bit of spray drift or something. You keep these last 12 rows around the edge of the field as non-organic, so you combine everything else, and then at the end, we'll come back, back and combine this and uh, put this in a separate space than the organic stuff. So for those of you guys that are new or haven't watched the channel before, um, we farm mostly conventional, a large majority of conventional acres. Uh, we farm 110 acres of certified organic, and then how many acres do we have going transitional right now? There'll be another uh, 280 or 90. Another 280 or 90? Is it all going to be certified next year? Or is it no, there'll be 100. 145 next year. Next year. No. And then the rest of the year after that. Yeah. Okay. So... Um, a couple of questions that I have been getting from you guys on organic. Now, bear in mind, this is our first year doing it. This is our first sellable organic crop. Um, the first one is, 
uh, what was it? Oh yeah, the first one is, what what's the difference in selling between, you know, like how do you sell organic crop? Well, it's a specialty market, so you need to find a buyer. There's not an open, there's not a board of trade or anything that openly trades uh, organic. So we are dealing with a, this is sold to an end user already, it'll be loaded on a train and hauled to, hauled to feed chickens somewhere out west. Um, so a lot of it's contracted ahead of the time, you know, uh, a lot of it's contracted like in December for the coming year. So you don't, you kind of know what your price is going to be when you plan it, as a rule. But you can also wait, put it in the ban and see if you get a better price on the open market, or I mean, prices might get better, but as a general rule, I think uh, a large percentage of the corn is contracted with somebody before you ever plant it. So the second most common question I get is uh, about the equipment. You know, do we use the same equipment as a conventional uh, crop, or do we have a different line of equipment? Uh, for the most part, we use the same equipment as our conventional crop, but uh, there's quite a cleaning process involved when you're switching from uh, conventional to organic. For example, for harvest here, you guys spent how many days? Two days. You spent two days cleaning out everything that the organic corn would come in contact with. But other than that, uh, we did, we did, you did buy the 8410T for organic to run the cultivator. Yep. And you bought, or you bought and built the cultivator and like a disc. And that's really all the, well, the we're organic specific stuff we've got so far. Probably would like the, a burner at some point. Yeah. And they're, I don't know if they, you have, if you guys haven't seen a weed burner, they're pretty cool, you should look it up. They literally, it's like, it's like a, it's like a 12 row flamethrower. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. I think a weed zapper would be pretty cool too. That's a weed zapper, maybe something, maybe, I don't know. Like the burner is more applicable. Yeah. Might be looking for another cultivator, a 12 row single sweep cultivator this winter. Uh, what's the advantage? So right now, how many sweeps do we have right now? Three. So we have a three sweep called. So what's the advantage of a single sweep? Well, if we continue to do the rye. Yeah. We we'll probably plant beans in 30 inch rows, and then you can cultivate them the first time with a single sweep. You can get through the grass. Okay. Put through the mat of rye, and uh, so I think we're gonna have to cultivate them if we're gonna grow soybeans. Too many weeds. Too much. Just too much weeds come up late. So the last question that I can think of that I've been asked is how much more time do you have to spend in the organic, you know, taking care of weeds and such. Um, you spend a lot more time this summer than I did. Maybe you can answer that a little bit better. Yeah, it's pretty staggering the amount of the amount of time. A lot of paperwork for uh, documenting documenting everything you do. And uh, yeah, I cultivated it three or four times and drug it two, three times, and walked it, and then we hired bean walkers. They spent a lot of time. So it's it's probably three times the amount of time per acre than our regular stuff, I would say. Yeah, especially, it doesn't like, saying, you know, you cultivate it three, four times and drag it three, four times, doesn't sound like a whole lot. But I mean, to drag the farm, the first couple times we did it, we pulled the 60 foot drag at like what, two miles per hour? Pretty slow. So yeah. that was like a day by itself or more. Yep. Each time. So, and yeah, you were, you were, every time, you know, even if we're working on something else, on your way home, you're always stopping by here to check on it, walk a different part of the farm, see if the weeds are coming up in bad spots that we knew of. And yeah, it's definitely. And, and that's why I bought the 8410 for the organic because it was hooked to something used about every day that it was dry yep. all summer long until the crop got too big to get through. Sometimes there's a few acres here and there you go out and do something with, but it put a lot of tractor hours on. Well, thank you guys for coming with us on our first organic harvest. Uh, this is the last harvest video because harvest 2020 is like 20 acres away from being completely done. I will do a harvest review video. But uh, stay tuned because, you know, lots of times farmers kind of get slowed down a lot during the winter. But we have a ton of really cool projects planned for this winter. And I'm definitely going to bring you guys along for as many as I possibly can. In fact, my winter break for college this year is like from Thanksgiving to like middle of January. So 
lots of time to uh, spend with you guys making some cool videos. So uh, see you in the next one. Bye.